What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing the mod I've been most excited to do since I bought an E92. Unfortunately, the other day while I was driving, somebody's tire unwound and smacked my front bumper. So my front bumper is shot. It broke in one portion, the paint's coming off. My little M Sport lip is shattered. So as y'all can assume, the mod of the day is, bam, front bumper. We're gonna convert my regular stock bumper to the M3 style one. The one I purchased is from Icon Motorsports. I'll go ahead and drop the link down below. It was only gonna cost 100, 150 bucks more to get the M3 style one as opposed to the regular OEM bumper. For me, that was a no brainer. I've been wanting to do this mod for the longest time. So today, we're gonna do it. Y'all can see I have the bumper right here. They went ahead and dropped it off for me. I have not even opened this up, guys. I am hyped. Only thing I need, bam. And it didn't even box cut up. You wanna be careful so I don't damage the bumper. Ah. Now, just like that. So now y'all can see it right here. We have it out. Oh my god, you know, I can already see through the packaging. But we're gonna go ahead and remove it out. And so now you might be wondering, what are these? These are air ducts. I went with the M3 bumper that does not have fog lights. It instead has these sick air vents. And what these do is these lead out to your calipers and enhance cooling. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded into the car and we're gonna go ahead and take it over to my paint and install guy. I just picked my car up from the shop and it looks freaking great. Honestly, transformed the way the entire car looks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how it looks. Good. I love the M3's mouth that it has down there. And that has these sick side fangs right here and over there. And y'all can see it came with the M3 mesh grill down here. I didn't have to pay for that, came included. And if y'all can see, I actually opted for the Ram air ducts instead of the fog lights. Honestly guys, I don't really use fog lights all too much. This is my personal opinion. Honestly, I just don't like how it looks. And I don't use fog lights enough for me to justify that. So instead, I went with the Ram air duct. How these work is the air comes straight through as you're driving. And from there, I don't have my wheel liner on, but from there, the air goes through, and basically cools off the car's entire braking system. So as y'all can see, I already have slotted and drilled rotors. Another mod I would highly recommend. I'll do a review of these ones later on. But as y'all can see, the air comes through and cools off the car's calipers, brake pads, and the rotors. Overall, this should improve braking performance. And I feel like that is more useful than the fog lights. And it was like 50 bucks cheaper for me going for the Ram air duct option. And basically how you install these Ram air ducts, they slide onto the back of the bumper. And if y'all can see, I actually have two screws, one over here and one over here. And they're coming in from the bottom so you can't see them but overall fits great. These are nicely intact. They don't move around or anything. Highly recommended. As well, it did come with the headlight washer covers right there and right there. Those came included, so I did not have to pay for those. Man, it just looks so freaking good. It sets off the entire look of the front end of the car. I would highly, highly recommend this mod. And y'all can actually see the tow hook that I have on right here. If you're interested in this, I'll go ahead and actually leave a link down below. I think it looks great on my car's design. So I want the arrow instead of the traditional little circular hook. There's actually a company that makes custom spray cans of your car's paint code. So basically I painted this on my own and installed it on my car and now it matches the rest of my paint. But yeah, guys, that is the M3 front bumper conversion on the E92. This mod was easily, I'd say the best mod I've done on my car to date, besides wheels maybe, but it just looks so freaking good. It transforms the entire dynamic of the car and just makes it look so much more aggressive. And I feel like that's what the E92 should look like. If y'all have any questions at all on the M3 front bumper conversion I did to my car, drop a comment down below. I'm super curious to hear if y'all like it or if it's not your taste. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for all the tons of content. Much love and I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.